Okie dokie, we're back in action once again with another Marvel Legends series, Black Panther from Wakanda Forever. Great movie. I love the movie so much. I didn't really like the first one, but this one is so good. It handles the death of our beloved um, Black Panther, aka the real life Chadwick Boseman, because we all know that he passed away tragically. And it gives him a little light to shine in. But this is not him. This is the new Black Panther. Shuri. Not a lot of stuff comes with this. I'm realizing right now. It only comes with two sets of hands. We'll make it quick though. Let's crack this bad boy open. Check it all out. Alright. So she only comes with a few things. She comes with a pair of fisted hands. All black with a little bit of gold right there. There is a tiny bit of texture. Right there, little details on it. So that's pretty neat. I like that. Getting getting deep in there. Look, at even on the hands, there's some texture there. So that's really nice. And then we have her claw hands. Titty grabbing hands, butt grabbing hands, junk grabbing hands, because she's a woman, you know, she might want to grab some pee pee, you know, but you know, I don't know how she swings because you know, they don't really explore sexuality in these movies, but it doesn't really matter. All right, that's all she comes with. All right, and here is our Shuri out of the packaging. And my goodness it's a pretty nice figure 25 bucks though i don't know it doesn't come with a lot it should have at least came with an extra head like i think that that would have been great if it came with an, a new shuri head i mean we just got a shuri head sculpt not too long ago they could all need to do is change the hair throw it on here but the the detail on this figure is incredible like, look at all these dots and the, the texture on the actual suit itself gold and silver all throughout you can even see little uh engravings in this little cheek part right here just really nice all the way around look at that the little headdress or whatever you want to call this right up here very nice very clean lines throughout the whole figure and the chest area looks really good you can see all the tech inside like the little different design choices little triangles and dots and whatnot i don't really know what those are for but you know they look really good. These shoulders and arms. The dots go out the entire suit. She's got a bit of a Power Rangers wristwatch right here. I think that's for her um her guns. I think that's where her guns come out of. I think that is actually because yeah. Remember she has those in the movie. She goes, Wah! So I think that's what those are. That's pretty sick actually. We already looked at the hands, the waist. Pull it back. She's got some sculpt right there. Beautiful. The back could use a little more paint, but you know what? They at least they did the detail, like the sculpting detail. So that's really nice. Look at all these crazy lines in here. And it's still textured throughout pretty much the whole entire figure. Let's look at the legs. Crazy. Look at these lines. Yeah, that texture. Hear that? Nice little gold throughout the whole figure. They messed up right here just a tad bit. Like right up there, but that's okay. I'm not really too mad about it. And she's got little feet, not little um, panther toes. Yeah, pretty solid figure. I, I like it a lot. But for 25, though, I don't know. All right, so for articulation, my girl looks up about that much, so it's pretty decent. She looks down about that much and rotates all the way around, of course. She's on a dumb dumbbell joint, so she can move her head all, all whichever way. Shoulder joints go or yeah up oh, ball joint shoulder no excuse me no butterfly joint because obviously this has been this is a kind of older figure i mean not really they could have done this but uh they didn't bicep swivel pinless double jointed elbows which go up all the way beautiful love that love seeing females with uh double jointed wrist goes back it goes forward and it does rotate all the way around she has a diaphragm joint that goes back about that much goes forward that much so not too great but it works side to side and of course it rotates beautifully legs go up about that far so that's pretty good go out about that much not the best but it, it, it'll do got that good old thigh cut right here pinless double jointed knees that go up really nice foot goes up there is no boot cut sorry foot goes up it goes down and then we go side to side. Shimmy sham, shimmy bam. The focus is so bad right now. 
Yeah, whatever. I don't care. It's focused. Who cares? You get stay focused. All right. And for some size comparison, the guy here next to some big people, we got the Ironheart uh, from the same wave, kind of, sort of. It's like the deluxe figure that came out with the wave. And then we got the Umbaku from the Legacy Collection that came out earlier this year. You know? All right. And here she is next to her counterpart, her old self from the first movie. Uh, just to show you how she stacks up. They're actually pretty much the same proportion. It's pretty cool. So I ain't mad about that. Looking pretty good. I do want to try something really quick, though. Let me see. Let me pipe. All right, so I was going to pop on the head, but I cannot because it the joint comes out with the thing. So And I don't have tweezers, so I cannot swap the head. So sorry about that. I wanted to do that. But, but something else I wanted to do was because she has them in the movie. I want to see if you can put these on. They look okay. Yeah, it's cool. I ain't mad at this. Yeah, see, now you can have her, like, in the movie. Where she's like, bew, bew, bew. So that's pretty dope. I like that. Maybe you might want to paint them a different color. But they do work. That's pretty fire. I like that a lot. Yeah. I think that looks pretty nice. The blue is a little crazy looking. But, I mean, I don't really mind it. It looks good to me. I'm not the first one to try this either. It is not, not my original idea. I saw somebody else do it. I forgot who. I cannot, cannot name credits right now. But, yeah looking dope all right here she is next to a couple other mcu figures from that wave i'll bust out the um black panther and the white wolf or whatever the fuck his name is in a second but yeah he's looking real annoying all right and here she is next to the black panther from this wave the other black panther comic book version and then the hatu zaraze hatu zaraze i don't remember how to say it but yeah just to show you all right and here she is next to she hulk and Kate Bishop, Phase 4 ladies. Um, yeah, looking real nice. Looking real spiffy. And this might be a little weird. I like to mix and match, you know, with whatever brands I like. Well, they're all Hasbro, but, um, you know, like different um, IPs or whatever. And, uh, I don't know, she's giving me big Power Ranger vibes. So I bought out a Power Ranger to see how she stacks up. And then, I, you know, I always think that MCU and Star Wars kind of can go together because... You know, they have normal looking people and they're all six inch. So there is Black Series Obi-Wan just to see how she st stacks up compares to the, you know, other kind of figure lines out there. Black Series Lightning Collection. You feel me? All right. And of course, you know, I had to get a, a little quick shot of her next to Namor. Um, man, I just can't wait to recreate the fight scene that they had in the movie because it was so sick when he picked her up and like slammed her into the ground and then he like punched her he or she like punched him into a rock it was pretty much a freaking dragon ball z fight damn near the only thing they didn't do or well, sure he did is she ended up shooting dude in the face with some of these so i mean that was it was pretty much a dragon ball fight like if i'm being quite honest and that shit was amazing and yeah these guys look so good together all right, and here she is with her brother and her cousin, um, all in the Black Panther suit, just to see how she compares to all of them. I do like, I don't, I, and I, you know, I don't know if this was meant to be, but I do like how she incorporates silver and gold because what I thought is she takes a little bit from T'Challa and from Killmonger, like that's what they were going for. Like she's got because he rocks the gold, he rocks the silver. But she's rocking both. So I'm thinking that she's like a mix. Like that's what she's trying to go for. But uh, yeah, they look fantastic next to each other. All right. And that's going to pretty much wrap up this video. Final thoughts. I like this figure quite a bit. I am not going to lie. But I think I'm biased because I really like the movie. So it's just I'm happy to get this figure part of my collection. But for 25 bones, I don't think you get quite enough i think that she should have came with an extra head at least i think that she should have came with um her guns if she should have came with some of these on her own you know just give us a little more it's it's a one-off figure you know it doesn't come with a build a figure piece so throw in a little something throw in some weapons throw in an extra head throw in, maybe throw in a pair of extra hands i mean she gave us the claw and the um and the fist hands but you know who knows give us like a gun holding hand or you know a weapon holding hand you know what I mean? Just give us more variety if you're going to make us pay. And we're not even getting a build-a-figure piece. You feel me? But I do 
like the figure, I recommend if you love the movie like I did, then I would go get it. If you love the character Shuri, um, I think go ahead and buy it. I think if you like MCU figures, go ahead and buy it. I think if you like figures that are articulate and have great detail, this also is a, you know, I think you should buy it. So I, I'm, I'm, all on, I'm all in on it. The price is a little crazy, but you know, it's, it, it, it's, you know, it's, it's, I don't, know, I don't really know how to explain it, but I paid for it anyways, because I loved it. And you might love it too. I hope you do, because I'm putting my name out there, buddy. Put my name out for you. But yeah, I don't know. I'm rambling now. Sorry about that. Um, I guess this is it. The it. Uh, I guess it's a different video. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Hey, what? Watch out, lady.